Uh, so what attracted you to the role of Gamora? Uh, James Gunn. And, and the possibility of one of joining the Marvel family and doing a Marvel movie and and sort of putting something out there again that my nieces and nephews would be excited about and I can stay cool with them for the rest of my life. <laughs> what did you like most about playing uh, the role of Kimura? Um Well, the fact that that she was such a wonderful asset to the Guardians, you know, that she has this perfect sense of justice, as my nephew, my 12-year-old nephew likes to say. And um, and she she's just somebody that's so versatile, you know, she comes from such a dark past, but yet she has so much hope and, and she wants she has, she wants to do good. So I, I liked that, that redemption, you know, arch for her. And what was it like working with uh, Chris Pat? Well, Chris. Chris Pratt as Peter Quill. It was great. He's a very gentle soul. Actually, all these actors that I got to work with are very gentle and absolutely uh, talented. And Chris just gave 150% every single day, like mind, body, and soul, into his part, into the movie. And he's really funny. I like working with uh, comedians that don't take themselves too seriously because you just you know that you go to work to laugh. Because they're so you're so, you're kind of like they're test dummies. They're trying every joke on you, and and you 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 laugh. You know. That's fun. Can you talk about the relationship between Peter, Peter Quill and Gamora? Um, it's a complex it's, relationship. Yes, it is. It's complex, but I just feel like it's very conventional. You know, uh, guy meets girl. Guy wants girl, but guy still has other girls. Girl kind of tells guy, you need to really kind of straighten yourself out. And guy just annoys girl all the time until eventually she likes him. <laughs> um, um, but of course, in this case, girl has green skin. Can you talk about the challenges of the makeup and, and the whole green skin experience? Um, that was a bit of a canker sore, I have to say. Uh, you know, the thought of being in a film where I would get to see how gravity is defied is what thrills me about doing these kinds of films. Um, getting there, the process of it, has had been easy for me up until now. You know, doing motion capture isn't as, as difficult, at least for me. Uh, but doing this the old style way where you get to sit down and you kind of go through the whole Michael Jackson and Eddie Murphy process of transformation is not easy if you are a very ADD person and you're very impatient. And you just go, oh my God, how long have we been here? Three hours. Three hours! Okay, great, are we done? It's like, no, baby, we have two more hours to go. It's like, oh my God, make this end, please. And it was like every day for five months. But then the end result was so rewarding. It just made it all worth it. And did you have to do a lot of physical training and weapons training and that kind of stuff too? Um, a little, but I, I came with a lot of my own training, uh, you know, already in here and in here. So from all the past films that I've done, and uh, so this one was also just a treat for me to be able to go. Oh wow, I still I still have some techniques from before from the past. So I'm just gonna take this a little easy on myself. It was it felt it was a great feeling.